Ladies and gentlemen of the Fourth Committee, today I am going to depart from the topic I have discussed with you on my previous appearances before this committee. The fact that in my opinion, as a previous official in charge of legal affairs for Minerso, I can certify that there was no reason why a referendum on self-determination for the people of Western Sahara could not have taken place in 2000. And there is no reason why it cannot take place today. Rather, today I wish to discuss Morocco's illegal use of the resources of Western Sahara. I should point out to you that Morocco has been playing you for fools for a long time now, participating in procedures in these chambers and in the Security Council based on the fact that Western Sahara is a non-self-governing territory entitled to self-determination, while proclaiming everywhere outside these chambers that the territory is actually a part of Morocco its southern province. Indeed, it is referred to as its southern province in its laws, in its proclamations to its citizens, in its treaties with other nations. It blatantly uses the resources of Western Sahara without the slightest attempt to obtain the approval of the people of the territory, and in many cases labels products from the region as coming from Morocco. I will not go into the statistics of the billions of dollars worth of phosphates, fishery, and agricultural products, and other resources that have been plundered by Morocco over the past years. Others are better able to provide you with these details. But as an international lawyer, I can assure you that all of this plundering has been against the basic principles of international law, as it has been set forth by the International Court of Justice, the Hague and Vienna Conventions, and the UN Office of Legal Affairs. Recently, the people of Western Sahara have taken legal action to assert their rights under international law. But this should not be necessary. You, the members of this committee, have the power to stop this illegal activity. You can demand that Morocco immediately grant the people of Western Sahara their right to self-determination, a right that this committee was created to ensure you can demand that until the people of Western Sahara exercise this right, Morocco cease using the resources of Western Sahara without their consent. The fact that this committee allows Morocco to get away with its two-faced and duplicitous position on this <coughs> issue and permits Morocco to exploit the resources of the territory without restraint is beyond my comprehension. Indeed, Many officials of my government considered the United Nations to be no more than a group of dilettante bureaucrats getting fat salaries for doing nothing. The unwillingness of this committee to take a stand against Morocco adds fuel to these claims. You do not need to be slaves to the dictates of Morocco and members of the Security Council who for their own political aims wish to bludgeon the people of Western Sahara into accepting a future they do not want. Tell the Security Council that self-determination means the right to freely choose their future. Tell the Security Council to organize the referendum that was promised by the UN to these people nearly 30 years ago. Do your job, please. Thank you. <laughs>